Hello, I'm Gianna Gomez and I'm here to talk about compassion fatigue, which is also known as secondary stress disorder. Compassion fatigue happens when all the caring and compassion towards animals or people we care for gets tired. It's kind of a mental pain that presents as an emotion and in physical exhaustion that causes us to reduce our capacity to empathize or feel compassion for animals. Or other people. Sometimes compassion fatigue gets confused with burnout. While compassion fatigue presents some components of burnout, it's not exactly the same thing. Compassion fatigue manifests when components of burnout and secondary traumatic stress are present. Secondary stress develops from listening, hearing, or seeing animals or people going through some suffering. Burnout refers more to the general exhaustion and lack of interest or motivation related to work. While burnout can develop in any kind of job, compassion fatigue originates from dealing with victims of trauma, animals or people that have been traumatized or are constantly being exposed to suffering. But it's not the compassion towards animals that causes this issue. It is because we care so much for animals that we end up forgetting about our needs, about ourselves. We forget that the compassion we have toward animals has to start with us, towards ourselves. And compassion fatigue can manifest in so many ways. The person can start feeling constant headaches, fatigue, anxiety, being more irritable, noticing changing appetite, sleeping patterns, lose a sense of purpose, decrease concentration, be more isolated from friends and family, be more forgetful at work and calling sick more often, among many others. But the important thing to know is that there are ways to deal with compassion fatigue. Implementing, for example, simple self-care routines on a daily basis can have a massive impact in your life. Here is one example. I use this exercise on a regular basis when I feel stressed. I repeat to myself multiple times. It's okay. I'm safe. I'm protected. There is no dangers here. And very quickly, I feel my heart rate going down, my breath slowing, and I become calmer and focus again on the task in front of me. There are also these other two simple exercises you can use anytime during your working hours. These are very calming exercises based on touch, which creates delta wave in the brain and relax our bodies. So the first is just rubbing one hand against each other, slowly, as if you were washing your hands. The second one is to place the thumbs of your hands on the opposite shoulders and rub them up and down multiple times. So go ahead, try it. And if you and any of your colleagues want to know more about compassion fatigue and burnout and how these issues can be managed, please reach out. My email and website are listed below. I'm here to empower you to remember why you started this job and why the work you do matter. Thank you.